Hello, hi, how are you today? In today's video, I want to talk to you about healing from narcissistic abuse. Now, it's coming to light because so many people are even more aware of it now, right? But talking and talking can take years of time. And what is narcissistic abuse and what does it do anyway? Well, we're going to talk about what it is it is when someone is being a narcissist to you, okay? However, the abuse, believe it or not, isn't always physical abuse. It can be mental, emotional, spiritual, sometimes, and I've had people say this to me, I just wish they'd haul off and hit me, then I'd know exactly where I stand. A lot of people do not know where they stand with a narcissist because they're very good at keeping you off balance. They love to keep people off balance. They love to pull the strings and push the buttons, and they're really good at it. And here's the thing about it. Narcissism is some form of self-protection, but here's who they're protecting. They're not protecting the person that they're with. They're protecting themselves. So they pull out all the stops. They've got all kinds of tricks in their bag to do this. But what does it actually do okay in the past in the old paradigm it used to keep people in line it used to keep them compliant it used to keep them to do your bidding and people would walk around eggshells now there are still people walking around on eggshells in their own homes where they live where they sleep where they eat there are people who have these situations because they may have nowhere else to go. They don't have alternatives. They can't do any alternative housing or just decide that they're gonna sell and move. Some people have like very limited choices of where they're gonna go. So they have to tolerate situations that frankly are getting like this. They're getting very intolerable. And what are some of the things that people tolerate? Well, they get gaslighted, they get manipulated, they get told that they're crazy. Now, one of the things on this journey of being a twin flame is that frequently you can feel like you're crazy. You can have intrusive thoughts, you can feel interference, vibes and thoughts and worries coming from other people. But this is a different thing. This is like a constant barrage of stuff battering your mental and emotional ego mind, your senses, and your soul has had it. Your soul's like, I'm up to here with this. Because people who have this become dispirited. It is a form of being attacked. It's like, you know, chipping away. It's like they're taking a little, one of those little hammers that you use in geology and they just keep eroding away and brushing away all the little parts of a person. The person loses their sense of identity. Well, you have an identity. It is, you are a lover. You have someone who cares about you. Now, you may not be with that person, or you may even think that that narcissist is your person. I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna show up that that's just wrong, okay? But here's who you do focus on, you focus on you. And what are some of the things of how do you know this? How do you know how this narcissistic abuse is occurring for you? Well, it can come from a variety of sources, people, types of people. It can be supervisors. It could be bosses. It could be parents. It could be your children. It could be your grown children. Now with children, we somewhat expect this because children are looking for the edges of the boundary, like for the box that they live in. They look to the adults of, you know, how much can I get away with? Or how am I learning from you how to treat you? You have to teach people how they should treat you, okay? We're not doing that with words because talking to people's ego minds is not effective. You're gonna have people that they will think in the best possible way that someone is meeting them where they are at their vibration or their level and they do not. You can tell someone up and down, you don't get to treat me like that. 
You're being disrespectful. Please don't use those words with me. You have another way to say that. Please be different. Please be better. They don't care. They don't give a crap for anything you have to say. They're going to keep doing it. And many times they'll do it because they can see they're getting to you. So we're going to have a little discussion here on how does this feel? Well, the problem I have, I think it started with my father. Yeah, that's very common because especially with girls, some men just don't know how to treat their girls once the girls start hitting puberty. So what happened? Well, he got really cold and withdrawn and he just, he, he, I could tell he admired me. He was proud of me at times, but he never expressed it. He was always critical. I frankly felt like I was walking on eggshells in my own home. And then I keep attracting men that are the same way. What's wrong with me? Uh, there's not something wrong with you. There's something very right because now, now, we are in a time frame that you can actually remove this. You can remove those tensions and those patterns of how people have done this with you, to you, throughout your past lives and have it improve. Well, I have some things. People do not like that I am intelligent and I'm outspoken and I will defend the underdog and I just, I have a problem with bosses. They always seem to make me, you know, try to fit into my place. I can't fit in that box. I've outgrown that box. I'm too grown for this. But it doesn't seem to stop. I keep getting oppressed in various ways. Me too. I keep getting oppressed. Yes, this happens. And worldwide, we are seeing something here that leaning on women, our rights, uh, our freedoms, it is happening. People are like running scared and putting out, you know, like they're they're trying to like throw down the equivalent of like chains in our road to keep us from moving quickly out of that old paradigm. You can't stop it. You can't stop ascension and you can't stop love and you can't stop twin flames. Okay, we are twin flames and we are here to do this. I have a lot of headaches and body aches. Oh, my stomach burns. I feel like all I have in my stomach is acid. I have trouble eating foods. Oh, me too. I get some of that and my hips ache and everything else. And sometimes I meet people and they just want to get intimate and I just can't. I mean, the minute I see them, I feel like I want to flee. Yes, because her fight or flight system is already ramped up. She's in a constant state of hypervigilance and there's more. I feel very deflated and depressed. I feel this is exhausting. Yes, exhaustion, exhausting. My self-esteem is taking a toll. I mean, I know I'm worth, but I spend so much time dodging and deflecting and like not even making a dent. I don't even know what to do about this. Oh, same here. My family thinks I'm just making this up. Who can make this up? Truth is always stranger than fiction. Well, sometimes it is. You can easily lose your sense of self when you're making endless compromises and you too are trying to do some self-protection. That's normal. But your first line of defense is your new twin flame body. Your light body is designed to open and Provide a shield. How would you like to have a shield that you can go around the world with and not only deflect and protect yourself, but to have your heart intact, to have the way of this where the universe rises up to meet you where you're at and not the other way around. Oh, come on. That sounds too good to be true. No, it really does happen. It is what I teach people and I can teach you and help you. It does take a little time. Many of these people are suffering from PAS, P-A-S, post a-hole syndrome. People are being a-holes to them and it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's family, spouses, 
ex-spouses, exes, everyone's trying to hang on and grab a little piece. I sometimes feel, I, I'm going to say it, I feel terrible like everyone is trying to take a turn and just get a little piece of me. I feel so, you're not fragmented. You're not a fragmented soul. You're not broken. If this resonates with you, if this clicks with you, what do you want to do about it? Do you want to talk and talk? I'm going to tell you something. Talk therapy, it only goes so far. What we're talking about is real transformation using your light body, pulling your chakras away, unclogging them, unblocking them, transmuting, purging, getting the old patterns out, and teaching people how you should be treated energetically, okay? Where your vibration does the talking for you and not the other way around. This is how it's supposed to be. Now, not only that, if you have someone, guess what? As they start to draw in their energetic twin, that twin is with them. How many people do you think are going to go up against a couple, a power couple, a real power couple? Or it could be, it doesn't have to be male, female. It could be female, female. That energy is doubled up. That energy is squared. That is twin flamey love squared. Now, when you have this situation, okay, does it feel like you're sending thunderbolts? No. It feels lovely. It feels magical. Many of the things that people suffer from, headaches, body aches, exhaustion, depression, self-esteem issues. Wow, we sound so dispirited, like we don't have anything going for us. Well, that's just wrong. Don't think that. Don't let your mind get carried away with this. There is a way, and it's a new way. Do not lose your sense of self. But the way it works is I'm going to take you into a neural magical elevation where gradually it begins to work for you, okay? And you see this. Some of the things people have said, uh, literally after my last webinar, someone wrote and said, it's almost like was ding dong, the witch is dead. And nobody died, okay, nobody died. But the obstacle was removed. And this is what it feels like. It starts feeling like you're skimming over, up and over. And this is particularly useful during new moons, retrograde energy. We are still in a retrograde here. So I want to remind you that, yeah, your higher energy can affect the little low voltage devices that you use. It just happened to me. I was using a kiosk and it just, it was wonky. You get this crossover. It doesn't mean there's forces against you. Please, people. Lose this thing of forces against you. There is a level where whatever forces are happening in karma here on earth, it's still going to happen. Rise above and get a new perspective in love. That's what you need to do. So give it a try. Join us. Have a session or join my three-part webinar. I always hold monthly webinars which helps people do exactly that. They begin elevating and sort of skimming over and skimming over and skimming over some of that icky stuff that's happening. Do you have to do some of the work? Yes. I mean, this is a given. You're putting some effort into it yourself. You have to learn. You have to new, learn your new light body. You don't have to know every chakra. You have to know how to adapt and how to adjust your energies and don't think that this is daunting. It comes very natural because that is a natural part of you. Your light body has already been operating you from before your birth, during your birth, into your childhood. How many of you, and you can reach out in the comments, how many of you have had childhood memories of stuff? Your gifts opening or using your gifts or knowing something or even, even more. What if you were getting warning signals through your body, like the hackles on your neck are raising? 
and you're just like, oh, that's kind of creepy. Not going to go there. But then as we get older, we do those compromises. We override. We are overriding too many of our signals. You're getting messages. You're getting signals. But a lot of people are ignoring them. Do not take it. Do not. There is no tacit thing as just a download that operates by itself. You get a download because you're supposed to utilize that. Okay. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to keep being here. This is my gift. And not only that, I can feel you and your twin flame. And that is my gift because what you do helps your twin flame where they are. You can't make them look early on. A lot of people were like, Patricia, I want you to talk to this person. No way in God's earth are they going to do it, especially the when, I mean, have you ever tried to ask a man in the car for directions? Some people think they know it all and that's fine. But the best way to learn is when we do it and you're guided and you start feeling it and you start experiencing it and then you get that it's a natural part of me effect. This is who you truly are. Yeah, your spirit is in your body. Is your spirit going to come down and want to get attacked again in any way? Is your spirit going to want to stay at that breakfast table where you're constantly being berated? Now look, a fair amount of people, I would say the metrics are maybe 80% of people who get awakened are already in a relationship or they're married. You can start this even when you're in a relationship and you need to. Because if you think that, you know, magical twin flame is very magical, but will they show up at your front door and ring the bell and like whisk you off? We all wish for that. Everyone wants that Prince Charming effect or that Princess Charming effect, right? You're not going to get it that way. You have to develop these parts of you because it is you and it's a higher part of you. It's not the tinier human part of you, but it's the part of the human you are that operates you. And we want you to operate optimally, increasingly better and better. How would you like to feel better? Now look, we've been out here for years. People are getting older while these awakenings are occurring. And yet you don't have to feel old. Is your depression, is your low energy, is your um, headaches, your body aches, are these the result of some form of abuse or narcissism? Have you kind of had it? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Then join us. I'd love to see you there. Our format is a presentation. We open up the floor for discussion. I instruct you. I give live guidance. I don't hide away. I know a lot of people run evergreen webinars where you can do that. I do this live. I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to people and meeting people. And by the third time, there is quite a bit of progress made. That's how quickly it can work using your light body. So if I can help you, I would love to help you. Please reach out. Check the links below, check the description, check out my website, twinflamereconnection.com. Thanks so much. Bye.